Hey Mike, uh, what are we looking at here? Well this is a, uh, a little uh, printout we did. Uh, um, I have to give credit to Scott McLean who called our attention to this. This was a, an article in a San Francisco newspaper called the San Francisco Post and the actual printout that he uh, sent us was dated in the 1880s but it was supposedly a reprint from a decade before and it, uh, it was a column written by a, a man who called himself Derek Dog, and it was kind of almost like a gossip column and he would talk about uh, rich people and what they were doing and so forth and in this particular article he mentioned uh, that there were uh, people from San Francisco that were camping in the Redwood Forest down in Felton, of course that's right here where we are, and according to the uh, article the the, some of these campers in Felton had been frightened by the screams of a wild man and that the screams kept them up uh, all night long. They were so loud and, and uh, extreme that they, they couldn't even sleep. And um, so we, we like to uh, consider that one of the earliest mentions of uh, Bigfoot screams in this area. And what's, what's interesting is that uh, right up to the present day, uh, right here in Felton, on neighborhoods on either side of the museum, and we have a creek on both sides of the museum. The one on this side is called Gold Gulch Creek. The one on the other side is Shingle Mill Creek. They both empty into the San Lorenzo River. The San Lorenzo River, by the way, is, is a, uh, a river in which salmon come upstream every year. And the, the first tributary that maintains and still has salmon going up it is Gold Gulch Creek right over here. Um, and we have had so many reports from people living in these neighborhoods who have heard in the middle of the night uh, loud, uh, undefinable screams that have awakened them out of a sound sleep, have frightened them to the point where they uh, went around and locked all the doors on their house. And, and uh, we followed up on one of these reports and actually found a little stick house, which we've talked about in the past. So uh, it's, it's really amazing that... Uh, We've got all of these sightings in this area in Santa Cruz County that uh, nobody really put together and realized were happening until our museum went together here five years ago. So now we have five years worth of people coming in and telling us about the local Bigfoot. Uh, it's amazing.